Who's your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? What's going on, Chiminsky fans? It's your boy here, Way Morse, owner of Pitmaster Chiminsky Q, and I'm back with another quick video for you guys today, okay? Now, before I jump into the video, you know, I gotta say thank you to everybody that stopped by the channel, all right? For everybody new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, cut on those notifications so you get notified when I drop all my latest content, and for all my returning subscribers, you know I appreciate you guys' support, okay? Now, this is a super quick video for you guys. It's really fun for me, and I like it anytime the wife says, hey, I want veggies, I don't just want to eat meat. We're not eating man meals tonight. So I was like, all right, it's my my take on veggies with a twist, all right? We are going to wrap a little asparagus with a whole lot of bacon, drizzle some honey, add a little salt and pepper, and we got ourselves a party, all right? Let's jump right into the video. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below what you think, all right? Let's go. All right, so for this cook, you're gonna need some bacon, asparagus, honey, and your brisket rub, okay? The, for me, my brisket rub is salt and pepper. And uh, four simple ingredients, and this is gonna be a knockout hit, great party favor, or great addition to maybe a steak or chicken, whatever you might be throwing on the grill that night, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is get our asparagus rinsed off. And I'm actually going to leave the thick stalk at the end. I'm gonna leave that attached to the asparagus, the asparagus. I know for a lot of recipes, you would typically want to chop that off. But in this particular instance, the that thicker part at the end, the part that's virtually inedible, uh, it serves two purposes. The first thing that it does is it gives us a handle when we're going to be eating the asparagus after it comes off the after it comes off the pit. So everything up until that point that the bacon is wrapped around is going to is going to be eaten. Okay. And then the second reason that we're going to leave that on there is that it adds a little integrity to to the asparagus as you're trying to work with it on the grill or get it turned with the spatulas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. So with a little movie magic, we'll go ahead and get the rest of our asparagus wrapped. Just make sure when you wrap the bacon, you don't wrap it over each other. You notice that the spirals, they, the, the, there's small gaps in between those spirals, but the bacon is not actually wrapped over each other, okay? Now, we'll drizzle it with a little bit of honey, hit it with our brisket rub, salt, pepper, whatever it is that you wanna use, all right? And then we'll go ahead and rotate these, and you gotta be careful because the bacon, it's not cooked yet, and you'll see that it'll want to try to fall off of the asparagus. Once you get it on the grill, uh, you have to rotate it a little bit. Again, you might have to fight with some of the bacon. If you don't want to do that, you can always use toothpicks. Now, for me, I just, don't like using toothpicks because it probably doubles the amount of prep time, uh, but it's absolutely a personal preference, all right? So let's go ahead and head out to the grill. Another thing that I wanna tell you guys, all right, a little pit master pro tip. Because we are only cooking veggies, not proteins, you do not need a full charcoal chimney, okay? You can see I got mine only filled about halfway and it's gonna we're gonna be cooking at around 300 degrees, maybe a little bit higher, all right? That's pretty important uh, for a couple of reasons. First is you got bacon, you're cooking with bacon and the lid is actually gonna be open simply because you're gonna have to work with this to make sure that if some of the asparagus stalks, the bacon tries to come off, you might have to adjust them a little bit, okay? So you don't wanna be working directly over a full charcoal chimney worth of charcoal inside your inside your grill. And then the second thing is because it's because it's you're cooking with veggies and you're not cooking protein, you don't need as much heat. Veggies typically cook faster, all right? So you don't have to be as aggressive with the amount of, with with your heat source when you're when you're cooking vegetables all right so you can see just like i told you guys at the beginning of the video some of these stalks are going to be they're going to fight you a little bit if you don't want to have to deal with this go ahead and use toothpicks it, it absolutely is going to help with one presentation and then two maintenance or the actual cook process it, it'll make your life a little bit easier okay but as you can see from my video it, it is perfectly you are perfectly able to go ahead and cook these without using any sort of um, bacon assist, all right? That's what we'll call our toothpicks. So we got these all on the grill. Let's go ahead and get a close up so you guys can see what we are working with, all 
All right. Now I put the charcoal on and I immediately threw these veggies on the asparagus stalks wrapped in bacon. You didn't have to wait too long for it to heat up. Okay. We'll get the lid covered and you can see, just like, just like I said, we're cooking at around 325 degrees. We got half a basket of charcoal in there and that's really all we need because it's only going to take mm, eight to 10 minutes to cook. And, uh, but you're going to have to monitor it the entire time. Okay. You, this is not a cook that you can, you can walk away from, uh, go inside and have a chat or watch a game. You're, you're going to want to make sure that you're watching these because bacon has a lot of grease. And even with the lid closed, you can get some flare ups that will end up burning either your asparagus, your bacon, or both. And that's definitely something that you want to avoid as far as presentation. But hey, if you got folks in your family that like burnt bacon, burnt, burnt bacon <laughs> excuse me, then by all means, go ahead and head inside, watch a whole game or whatever it is that you want to do, okay? So we got these turned, and as you can see, they are they they're pretty much done all right total cook took about eight minutes and you can see that the bacon now that it's cooked it's pretty much sticking to the asparagus and that's that's what we wanted it shrunk down a little bit the asparagus got a little char on it and then those stalks at the end are really helping to to maintain the integrity of the overall asparagus stalks so I, I think that it turned out for the most part pretty good. There were a few pieces. I had, I did have a couple of flare ups and a few pieces. I'm just gonna say ran away from me. Um, they got a little bit darker than what I like, but uh, some of the folks in my family like more done bacon. So it actually worked out a little bit for, for everybody, okay? And you know, if you got one super thick stalk, it's just gonna be a little bit more stubborn than the rest of them. So I had to leave the guy on there for, for a couple of minutes, but here's the finished product. What do you guys think? Yeah, if you stuck around this far, go ahead, smash that subscribe button, cut on those notifications, all right? I appreciate you guys sticking this far within the video, okay? Let's go ahead and get these things inside and see how they are tasting. We're gonna go ahead and use that thick stalk at the end to kind of act as the handle. Think of it as kind of like a lollipop. And uh, this is how we're going to, is how, is how we're gonna hold it. So everything else we can eat, but then what our fingers are holding is gonna be that bit that we throw away at the end. And that's why we didn't cut off the tip. So I've made these before. I know I'll make them again. Really, really, really good cook. I absolutely enjoyed these and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed them too. All right, see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching, peace.